Good morning. Uh, this is Peter Levesque. I'm president of the Institute for Knowledge Mobilization, and I just got back from London uh, at the 2016 UK Knowledge Mobilization Forum uh, that Kathy Howe um, organized. So uh, you might want to check out their website, which is knowledge mobilization with an s.net. Uh, we're knowledge mobilization with a z.net, but works. Um, the, if you want to check out what happened on Twitter, the hashtag was UKF16. So just um, search and you'll see a bunch of really interesting stuff. What, I, what I've done for the last number of years is whenever I go to an event, I sit down afterwards and I try to think through what did I pull out. And so I have a tendency to filter this kind of broad conversation over a couple of years into a simple kind of metric, which is, are there three ideas that I want to follow up with? Are there three people that I need to follow up with? And there are three actions that I'm going to take. And so I'm going to talk about those right now. So the three ideas that um, really came out here, one is a really simple one that Kathy did, but um, it's her reflection journal. That's the first idea. And I really like that because it's a simple kind of elegant way uh, within a manual to help people synthesize what they've done. So this was the the guide for the day and After every section She had a very simple page to fill out that talked about thoughts and ideas and reflections and who did you meet? A little bit like what I've just talked about right and she gave it as a as a title um, Very useful and I think we're going to do something like that for the Toronto Forum the second idea was this idea of knowledge mobilization entrepreneurs. Um, people weren't talking about it, um, but it's something that came out uh, in discussions with Kathy and with others about the difficulty of actually making these events happen, of people engaging with one another, um, and the role that entrepreneurs take, people who organize and risk and manage in order to get things done, and often without uh, credit, from institutional bodies or from associations or whatnot, that there's a, there's risk involved and it's an idea that I want to pursue and figure out. The third one that, that came out is the share, you know, sharing economy lessons for knowledge mobilization. Um, because there were fewer people than expected showing up, the costs had to be broken down and um, Kathy uh, very wisely was able to get um, uh, Warburn House and the London Foundation to donate space for the two days that we were there. We had to move around a little bit, but we got to see two different venues in two different parts of London. And I think that's actually really important. And I think we need to move forward further in terms of figuring out how do we share the resources that we already have and the infrastructure that we already have. And I want to give kudos to Sick Kids Hospital that's doing exactly that for the 2016 Forum uh, in Canada, in Toronto, uh, next month. So um, those are the three ideas that sort of pop into my head. The three people that I need to follow up with, uh, the first one is uh, Alistair Scott from the Institute for Development Studies. Uh, Alistair's doing some really interesting work around um, who's talking about your research and the title of one of them is, of his blog posts is who's talking about your research, tune into the digital debate and discover what happens post-publication. Um, Alistair is a uh, very sincere, very bright, very articulate, a uh, man who has a deep concern for uh, the well-being of others. And so, Alistair, it was a pleasure to meet you. I look forward to, to uh, following up. The second person that I want to follow up is uh, Leslie Wyatt at the University of Bristol, who um, came to me after a, a short presentation when I finally arrived at the second location after getting lost in London, which is not the first time, um, who brought up uh, the idea around mindfulness and about the language that we're using and how we engage with uh, one another. And um, it's something that I've included in my workshops. It's something that I've included in my own studies. Um, but I think it's something that isn't quite part of the conversation yet, but I think needs to be. And so I'm going to follow up with you, um, Leslie. The third person I'm going to follow up with is Melinda Kennaway from Grow Kudos. And I saw her poster along with Alistair's and I thought what was really interesting with what Melinda is doing is um, how do we uh, take on multiple responsibilities for not just sharing our work, but ensuring that uh, it has an, um, uh, an, improve, uh, uh, an increased enhanced 
possibility for improvement, uh, you know, really across that it's not just the role of the researchers, not just the role of the publishers, just not the role of the universities, not just the role of government. It's actually a shared role. And so how do you map out that shared role and how do you gain um, better understanding? So um, I'll be following up with you, Melinda. Thanks very much. Um, and this is not to say that I, I didn't uh, enjoy meeting everybody else because I did. Uh, it was a fantastic group of people. But like I said, I'm just filtering this down and I'm sure I'll have other conversations with other people. That's the way this kind of thing happens. The th third uh, piece is around three actions. And so um, there are three actions of things that I'm going to follow up with. Um, not just in terms of ideas, but this idea of, um, you know, how do I uh, think through what we're doing? And so uh, one of the first ones is this very elegant phrase called strategies for improvement, which I think in many ways gets over a lot of the confusion around the multiple terms of knowledge mobilization, knowledge exchange, etc. cetera. Um, and that many, what we're looking at are multiple strategies for improvement. So um, I'm going to start looking through what does that actually mean and is it actually a, a plainer language way to think about our work. So that's one of the actions I'm going to take. The section action is following up of the conversation with Leslie, which is this idea around mindfulness. And um, look at who is doing research um, on mindfulness and how this relates to actually our work in knowledge mobilization and, um, and the systems that we're building around it. The third action is um, the mapping of interactions. How do, um, I'm gonna start looking for software or tools or resources to figure out how to map out interactions so that I have a better understanding of the sort of dense clusters around certain ideas, as well as um, the kind of flow and tidal movement of our relationships, our knowledge building, our implementation, to actually figure out what are the pathways that are most useful. Um, so I know that's a, that's a fairly high level um, statement about the forum, but I thought the UK Knowledge Mobilization Forum went incredibly well. Um, it was a smaller group of people than was expected, but I think it was the right people in the room. It was the right kind of vibe. There was lots of really interesting conversations that I think are going to um, help us do our work better and fundamentally improve the well-being of people. So those are my impressions. Those are the, what I'm pulling away. I'd love your comments as to uh, what do you think? Uh, if you were at the forum, um, what are some of the ideas and people, you know, the ideas that you take away and the people that you want to follow up with, as well as some of the actions that you may want to take. Um, either uh, comment on this video on YouTube directly or uh, just leave a comment because I'll post it to our website as well. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.